For home links 4-11, we are finding the area of rectangles and rectilinear figures. Remember the area is length times width. Area for a rectangle equals length times width. So this first rectangle, it says find the area. So my equation would be length times width, 27 times 18. <clears throat> you can do this problem any way that you would like. To do 27 times 18, I'm going to do the traditional method for this. So 8 times 7 is 56. Carry my 5. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. Then since I'm moving to the tens place, I'll put 1, 0. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. When I add those up, I get a total of 486 square units, 486 square units. Number two, a tool bench is 35 inches long and 19 inches wide. How many square inches of the basement floor does it cover? I'm going to just draw a quick little sketch so that I can get an idea of what this would look like. 35 inches long, 19 inches wide. How many square inches of the basement floor does it cover? 35 inches times 19 inches. I'm going to do this, 35 times 19. Okay, for this one, I'm going to do partial products. So to do partial products, I would start with a 10 times 30, which equals 300. Then I would do the 10 times 5, which equals 50. Next, I would do 9 times 30 which is 270, followed by 9 times 5, which is 45. When I add those four up, I get 5, 16, and 6. 665 square inches. Next, I need to find the area of this figure. I can break it up into different rectangles. The easiest way to break it up is probably going to be to break it up right here. So my first equation would be length times width, 30 inches times 100 inches equals 3,000 square inches. And then I would have 20 inches times 20 inches. I know 2 times 2 is 4, so that would be 400 square inches. And then I would do the 3,000 plus 400 gives me 3,400 square inches. Okay. List all of the factors for the numbers below, so you should have factor T's. I'm going to start with 48. 1 times 48 are factors 2 and 24. 3, if I do 48 divided by 3, I get 16. 4 times 12 would be 48. 5 is not a factor because 48 doesn't end in 0 or 5. 6 times 8 is 48. 7 is not a factor because 7 times 7 is 49. So my factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, 48. Factors of 62. 1 times 62, it's even, so 2 can go in 31 times. 3, let's see, 6 plus 2 is 8. 3 is not a factor of 8, so 3 is not a factor of 62. 4, if I do 62 divided by 4, I do not get a whole number, so 4 is not a factor. 5. 5 is only a factor if it ends in 0 or 5. 6 is only a factor if 2 and 3 are factors. 7, I know 7 times 9 is 63. 8 is only a factor if 2 and 4 are factors. 9 times 7 we said was 63. 10 is only a factor if it ends in 0. 11 times 6 would be 66. And 
We'll just try one more, 12. I know 12 times 5 is 60, so 12 is not a factor. So it looks like my only factors are 1, 2, 31, and 62. Let's do factors of 63. 1 and 63. 2 is not a factor because 63 is odd. 3 times 21. 4 is not a factor because 2 is not a factor. 5 is not a factor because it doesn't end in 0 or 5. 6 is not a factor because 2 and 3 aren't factors. 7 times 9. 8 is not a factor because 2 and 4 are not factors. So I have 1, 3, 7, 9, 21, 63. And last, 55. One times 55, two is not a factor because it's odd. Three, if I add the digits, five plus five is 10. Three is not a factor of 10. Four is not a factor because the number's odd. Five is a factor, five times 11. Six is not a factor because two and three aren't factors. I know seven times eight is 56, so that wouldn't be a factor. Eight times seven is 56, not a factor. <clears throat> Nine times six is 54, not a factor. And 10 is not a factor because it doesn't end in 0, and 11 is listed. So my factors of 55 are 1, 5, 11, and 55.